Today we're going to talk about route planning using your Qualcomm's Copilot navigation. Coming up. Tuesday morning, I'm getting ready to roll out of the house. I've got my load that has come through, and I'm getting ready to start punching it into my co-pilot navigation. Let's follow along. Clicking on the little six squares at the bottom brings up the menu. I'm going to choose My Places. Next, I will click Edit. Clicking the star at the top right because I'm going to add a new favorite place. I'm adding it by address. The messages with our loads do, does not have the zip code, but does have the city and state. The information I'm going to need comes from the load information message that you will receive. I've circled the address, city, and state. That is what we're going to work with first. It's also important to run a macro 35 on all new locations that you haven't been to before so that you can take a look at any instructions a previous driver has sent. I'm going to start typing Chatsworth and it will pop up. Sometimes you will see multiple counties. That's because a city crosses county lines. Next, I'm going to type, start typing the street, and then I will click on it when it comes up, and I will then type in the house number. Sometimes you have to accept the closest address. You can always edit it when you get to the location. Other times, there might be two Lowy drives, like a Lowy East or a Lowy West or Southwest. Now that I've found the address, I'm going to give it a name. I always start out my name with the identifier that our company uses for the macro 35 then I type in the name just as it appears on my load message which will make it easier for me to find in the future when you're done editing the name you'll click save in the top right this will bring up your list of favorites and it will be the top favorite it will begin calculating the route an important step I did is I put all the terminals in first so they're at the bottom of my list. Makes it easy to keep them together. Now I'm going to add a stop. And this stop is something that is already in my database because I've been there before. My final stop is Menards and I know it's M-E-N-I-R as its code. Here's the macro 35 information on M-E-N-I-R. Since I've been to this location before, it's going to appear in my list. Every time I go to a new location, I add it, and they keep appearing on the list. Unfortunately, the list is not sorted, so you have to scroll down until you find it. As soon as I found M-E-N-I-R, I clicked on it, and it immediately popped it into the route. We still have to add two more stops. Those will be my fuel stops. On this run, I have two fuel stops. One is the Pilot TC in Hebron, Indiana, and the other is Millis Terminal Richfield. To add the pilot, I'm gonna choose Places of Interest, Truck Services, and then I'm gonna change Search Nearby to a different city. I'll start typing Hebron, and it will populate and come up. Hebron, Indiana, click on it. Now I want the pilot, so I'll start typing pilot, and it will pop right up and even has the pilot number right after it, 448. I'm gonna say set as next stop, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna optimize in a second. I had a second fuel stop, which was the Millis Terminal of Richfield. Before I started putting in locations, I put all my terminals in first, Heartland and Millis, which would put them at the bottom of the list, making it easier for me to find them. Richfield is M-Y-R-I. And keep scrolling down, and there it is right there. I click on it, and it will then add it to my list. Now I click on the options and say optimize stops. If I need to move a stop up or down, I could click on it and then click the up or down arrow, but it cal calculates the route now on its own. We'll give it a minute to do the voodoo that it does. When it's done calculating, it usually has one of our points still pulled up. Just click somewhere there's no data on the map and it will close that little box so you can see the route. At this time, you can compare it to the suggested route if you'd like, or you can click go and take off on it. It shows it's gonna take 16 hours, 26 minutes. It's 962 miles. 
Now I'm in 2D navigation and it shows the route to my first stop. I can then click on the main menu and go to 3D navigation and it looks just like a GPS that you are used to seeing in your car. As you can see, Copilot is powerful navigation software that is made for trucks and it is included in your truck's Qualcomm at no cost to you. If it's not turned on, you just need to reach out to Cat and Safety and it'll get turned on for you or someone else in Black River and they can turn that on. There is absolutely no reason that a new driver needs to go out and get a Garmin or a Ram McNally. Yes, they're nice to have, but they do the same job as the GPS in your Qualcomm and the Qualcomm comes with the truck. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and be sure to check out other drivers with YouTube channels.